Dozens of children from some of Queensland's most remote Indigenous communities have come together for a very special performance. They've been hard at work all week at a special band camp in far north Queensland. Christy Sexton McGrath reports. It's their first big performance as an Indigenous big band. <laughs> The children come from communities all over Cape York and they're performing at the closing ceremony of the Cairns Indigenous Art Fair. Very, very proud. Like, we made them do rehearsal and performance, rehearsal and performance. And, yeah, and no, they, they, they did it. Arakoon, Hopevale and Cohen are more often making the news for the wrong reasons. But music is helping this next generation see beyond the horizon. Many of the children have never been outside of their remote communities, let alone played in front of a crowd. They've been putting in the hard yards all week at a special band camp. The Cape York Instrumental Program Band Camp brought them together on the Atherton Tablelands west of Cairns. It was actually James Morrison's original idea or vision that we should go out into the communities and introduce them to music and just I think myself give them the same opportunities as any other school in, in Queensland. Trent Grayson is a music teacher at Hopevale and he's travelled with 13 of his students. Their commitment is huge so yeah. I love it. All of my grandfather's brothers and, yeah, and his sisters, they all play. Band camp is also used as an incentive. The kids know they must always turn up to school, they must always attend band practices and um, yeah, then they get to come out and do things like this, come out to band camp um, and obviously a lot of good reading and playing through their instruments. Phenomenal. Uh, th there are certain students here that can read so well and play so well. There's plenty of talent, maybe even the next James Morrison. I love it. Christy Sexton-McGrath, ABC News, Cairns.